my name or er, la 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 and then we'll do this what's up everyone it's bella mars right here with jenny from the block today because i got these <laughs> earrings my hair is in a ponytail oh, yeah. later and i was like uh-huh. what are those i used to, I used yeah. to call myself emlo when i was younger for like a year <laughs> there's a last- name. It didn't last long. Yeah, well, it didn't last long for a reason because I was like, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give it to yourself? No, I didn't. But I was like, yeah, like J-Lo, but M-Lo. Right, <laughs> cool. Because, you know, I was from New Jersey, so that's close enough. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sassy. I'm a, sort of Italian. That's almost Latino. Well, well, I'm, compared- I'm adjacent to <laughs> To all well, of she plays the Italian, so that's true. Then I could play a Latina in my life. Yeah, yeah. So Emlo, Emlo. Um, we're we have a we did a Tinder. What did I think we're calling it? Tinder talk. We did a Tinder talk, Volume One. I don't know, a couple months ago now. And the purpose of that one was to show that Snapchat filters can be used as or it can be used in Tinder, and then it can be verified by using a non-filter, um, and it will verify you, right? Is that yes. pretty much? Yes, because I used the, the filter that was like the handsome dude filter, which and I then... actually saw other people use, and I was like, that's it! <laughs> <laughs> I saw a TikTok where they used it and I was like, that's the handsome guy filter. But yeah. yeah. You use the you use a filter. It might be like make me a pretty lady filter as your photos. Mm-hmm. And then you it scans your face to verify you. And when it scans, it scanned my face with no makeup on and, Using, and like bushy video, eyebrows. Right? Yeah, yeah, like t- does a video. I am a dude. And it verified me as the handsome guy filter version of me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a PSA. Uh, it, th- that was kind of the point at first. We're like, if this is a thing and it works, then this needs to be said because you could think you're talking to somebody verified and it's actually like a weird, well, if it's a guy, then you could be talking to a dude, which I'm sure is more where the case would be. I don't think girls would do it to, I, I don't know. If girls would do it to f*** around with other girls, but I Who guess... Who knows? People are so weird. If, I, if yeah. I've learned anything in all these years, that's the f- That's it. People are really, <laughs> really weird. And I yeah. don't put anything past anyone. But even, like, on a more basic level, think about, like, people are so used to using filters. Like, they can't yeah. function without it. If you make a TikTok, like, mm-hmm. you're, why would, you're gonna... It kind of, I think it already puts kind of a filter on you anyway. Because sometimes I'm like, like a I'm like, I always smoothing. look better. Yeah, it does something. Because then like, uh, sometimes someone, when you look at your phone, the camera's just on you. And I'm like, Ugh! because it's so <laughs> ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Ugh! I look like, if I look like that, you know, strike me down. Yeah. So um, the fact that I feel like I look automatically prettier on TikTok, so they're doing something, <laughs> something to trick you into making something, like yeah. not being horrified by your own image. And then, you know, they'll pick the little ones and they just get used to how they look, how it gives you the little glow on your nose. And it does yeah. Look. So if they're going to, if they take pictures using those, it'll verify you with no makeup on. So you could get crazy. You remember that, you know, that uh, TikTok bold glamour where yeah. it really changes your face and it looks real. <laughs> yeah. You could use that. People look real different with that one. And then Jeez. verify your face where you don't have much of a chin and you don't really have strong job bones or like <laughs> But it makes you look like a supermodel. We should also try if they verify, like, Some basically, if you, if you try, if you just say, I want to verify, and you go through all the steps to verify, if it'll verify you. And then after you're verified, will it let you take, like, whatever – other pictures you can take your pictures out and then put random pictures in of somebody I do that else. take it take like the guy out and put a different one in yeah or like a meme or something 
Yeah, like another it person let, or like a if it like if it let that one slide through, I feel like it would it's not advanced enough to pay attention to what you do after that. It's like that's well, what we did not we did enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they called it a day. Yeah. And they shouldn't have, but they did. So let's start by shaming my own profile because <laughs> I can say, oh, that was two years ago. And it's not like it's too much OnlyFans. I'm not showing too much. Okay, so the first thing is I didn't know that they have a desktop version. Not that it's going to change anything that I'm doing. <laughs> um, I, Your ass is still out and everything. <laughs> oh, Whether you so look at they... it at the small one or the oh. big one, her ass is still out. So I guess they organize it or they have a smart photo thing. Um, smart photos. Smart photos continually test all of your profile photos and picks the best one to show first. So I guess this one of me is the best one. Um, so let's look at the pictures first, I guess. Hold on. Preview. Ass out. Would you consider this like, oh, if you saw this on Instagram, would you be like, oh, she probably has an OnlyFans? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A mild one. Where it, I think if, if I did, it would be like socks. It would be like socks themed, like knee high socks and like something <laughs> like this. Like, I think that's as far as I would take. <laughs> take it i think it would be like semi semi fetishy maybe yeah but like, like so it's like the little like kind of like the not the little school girl but girl like a school, school girl. girl thing yeah yeah i think that's what this is like close an to. asian school girl so it's very <laughs> very niche yeah very niche because like I, when it showed all your little pictures, I was like, "Oh my god, it's screaming Asian at me!" It's screaming. I'm like, you really leaned into the Asian part. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because there's a okay. So that's that one. Um, and I actually took that picture because the sweatshirt I'm wearing is from one of the musicians I work with. So I was like uh, promoting merch, but I not can't in this see one. What's on? <laughs> That was a really good attempt at lying, but I can't. Is that a chicken? I can't see what you're covering up. Um, no, yeah, it was just a logo. So clearly I'm like, oh, this is cool. But this picture, this angle looks way better. So I'm just going to cover it up. Um, what are you doing? Are you holding something? Here, are you I got a beer. Are you finger guns? What? Here, here, I'm like, I'm dancing. Uh, you know, saying I'm cool, I'm but then I was fun. drinking. I'm super fun, and I go out and I like drink and so I have a personality, which that I can't drink anymore. To, that screams to me. Yeah. I rarely drink piss. <laughs> 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 That's why I have. Well, look, it depends on what you call piss. I'd call Pap's Blue Ribbon or whatever piss. Piss, piss beer. Yeah, it's piss. Yeah. It's basically the same. I have no opinion okay. on this, though, because I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Do you think this one is OnlyFans? The Sailor Moon? Uh, yes, that is the fetish schoolgirl OnlyFans that we were just talking about. Okay, so this is like, I think it fit, It would fit th the theme where it's like, uh, like yeah. So, yeah, like um, maybe you'd be like somebody's sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the other point I was trying to get a across here is that... Whoa, you were trying to get a point across? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the point I was trying to get across yes. was that I'm not super skinny. Because I wanted that to come across, like, clear. Like, okay. my arms here. <laughs> because, you know, I don't want to meet somebody so in person making, and be like... You're making a statement about feminism. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, um being body positive here. Yeah. Like, it's not look. about dressing like a, like a sailor, no. a sailor moon. <laughs> no, but I think that's probably like, I would say that's like 70% of why I get or swipe right. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is it? It looks, the, it's so it looks like a costume. It is. It's a sailor moon costume. 
That's what I just said. Is it a Sailor Moon costume? <laughs> oh. It is. The skirt didn't fit right or whatever. And this is like a onesie. And I forget where I was going. But um, I was like, better take a picture of this. It looks good. Um, but then it also shows like, hey, I'm not super skinny. So, you know. <laughs> Purpose, I'm sure I when guess. they swipe, they're like, she's really political. It means a lot to me. <laughs> they're not just like, a bitch, she's DTF. <laughs> just okay, like so a little this, girl. This is me, like, waking up in the morning. Okay, that's not. That doesn't give me any... <laughs> what vibe does this work, give you? No sex worker vibes. So that's okay. legit. Okay. so Because things good. can be sexy, but not give sex worker vibes. If you're wearing a costume... <laughs> that one might wear to like a fetish sex party then like yeah. i think <laughs> come dressed it's a theme party like an anime theme party anime theme sex party this would be my profile mm-hmm. yeah you and plus put, everybody not- likes uh guys still like anime if in their 30s totally. these days totally yeah so not you know and they guys, watch that but- like anime porn do you you don't know what their socioeconomic class is <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if that was done very, on that. <laughs> that was very judgmental of me i apologize <laughs> if there are any <laughs> wealthy um anime lovers this is what Hit you me can, up. <laughs> this is what you can expect <laughs> Wealthy. If there are, I'm free on next Friday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, what about this one? What do you think about this one? This is me in the standing in the mirror wearing a oversized Supreme t shirt and these are cute and face. normal. That one is like I don't know. Did they're like uh you know how I don't know, like MySpace pictures or whatever had like a certain thing where like everything was at an angle this isn't that angle, oh. but i feel like this is a, an angle that occurred at some point where it was like <laughs> i'm falling off of something yeah i have no idea <laughs> what the angle's about <laughs> no but this or was one tongue. that was like a certain it had its time era yeah okay. well that was, showed that ages me i guess it, but it was true. after it wasn't the it wasn't the mice you know the one where you're like looking up was like straight up oh yeah there was that was like the Stupid. myspace back back <laughs> back in the day and this one is just kind of like this one isn't from that long ago but i just remember it because it was it made me laugh because <laughs> ev- yeah. everybody did this and it was like <laughs> you're not looking you're looking at your phone not the mirror yeah and it's an angle like you're kind of falling down. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like, this is me being like, look, guys, I have my Sailor Moon moments, but I'm mostly chill and I like Supreme. So that makes me cool. And this is what I wear day to day. So I don't may, expect much. <laughs> I may or may not have had a stroke recently. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't expect me to dress up all sexy slutty because that's not how i roll no but you still as, look cute as the first line of my profile says i'm a ho- hoodie and leggings kind of girl but we'll get to that in a second <laughs> um next picture this is me after my <laughs> this is me after my knee surgery and just taking a picture in the mirror because i had my knee brace on it and looks my like walker. you have no no bottoms on Okay, so that's. <laughs> I was wearing short shorts. I know, but it looks like you have no bot. It's fair. It's like if I was one really of desperate, I would stare yeah. at it and be like, I bet there's no underwear. There's just nothing there. <laughs> and guess. then just like this weird, like, because when I look at the leg thing, if you told me, like, you had like, sur- like knee surgery, I'd be like, okay. But otherwise, it's like, what the fuck is that? Oh, it looks like boots. Like it could right, be Right, right. Like high boots. Yeah, like you're wearing like a like, sexy thing. No underwear. And boots. boots. <laughs> <laughs> not so the scary. case. It's a knee brace. So in Post your head, you're like, knee brace. you're like, this is not sexy at all because yeah. I'm wearing a knee brace. <laughs> but when you look and, at uh, it without knowing, it's like. Oh, that's hilarious. I didn't even look at uh, she's having a, this is like a she's having a pretty woman moment. 
Yeah. <laughs> With yeah. the high ass boots. <laughs> I just need a wig. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this one is okay, so this one, no filter in the car. This is you're what a fuck daily somebody up. You yeah. look like you're gonna fuck somebody up. Yeah. If you and looked at me like that, I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. So I, I wear a lot of headbands. Like this is me waiting in line, I think, for parent pickup. And I'm like, you just, just, it's your expression though. I'll f you up. Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe that's your Dom picture. I don't know like if you, I have, have a your, Dom side. I have I a fighting know. side. That looks like, yeah, it looks like you're like, I like, you know, if someone says something about your mama, you make that face uh, at yeah. them. That's yeah. the face. Pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody, uh, I was at my daughter's piano recital and she got done and then she went to sit in the front row and there's a dad there who's going like this, like as in, I or like this, where she was about to sit down and he goes like this and she started like backing off. And I was like, if he's trying to say that she can't sit there, this is about to be a brawl. But then he was trying to give her a high five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, so he's trying to be sweet and you're like yeah what? Yep. i was like <laughs> i was like here we go he was trying to give her a high five i should think Aww. better of people that's cute <laughs> uh, i know but when i think better of people usually they prove me wrong <laughs> yeah yeah so this see is that's really that's me. pretty that's a pretty picture that's Thank not you. It, it doesn't say anything other than just it's pretty yeah so i got the okay so i got pretty i'll fuck you up <laughs> Uh, this one was completely misconstrued. Um, I guess. But if you're thinking as a dude and just looking at it. Yeah, I see it now. (laughs) (laughs) Because remember another time a guy liked it and you were like, he liked this. He's so innocent. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I bet he thinks (laughs) that's other stuff. (laughs) (laughs) They don't see the walker. They just see the no shorts and the thing that looks like boots. They see what they want to see. That's true. Okay, so anyway, those are my... Yeah, yeah like this one's a problem. That one is so... This one's not as much because you could definitely see them wearing shorts. And I was more trying to show off the shoes. Um, But this one, the second one not... where I'm... The, yeah. You can't see anything, but I could see it enough to be like... You can see that it's like underwear or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can see, like, that's what I'm wearing is. underwear, but also I don't, I didn't realize how much, you know, this is where I figured out, like, oh, wow, there's a lot of sock <laughs> enthusiasts <laughs> out there. Here is my bio, which is quite embarrassing. <laughs> is it this one? No. Ooh. Oh, is it, though? A work mode. Wait, work mode. It's like, so you can hide the screen real quick if you're like oh, on Tinder. You're like, that's oh, funny. Uh, working. <laughs> it's a PowerPoint. I'm just working. <laughs> Nothing to see over here. <laughs> okay. So I did the list format. Uh, I'm a hoodie and leggings kind of girl. Asian Latina. Career focus slash starting a business. Master's degree. Sarcastic and dark humor. Music industry publicist, which is true. I don't do it a lot because they're on their their own thing right now. They're in L.A. Um, I'm 5'2 and curvy or thick, maybe, depending on what kind of vernaculars you use. Um, I like making people laugh. Naps plus 420 equals love. Uh, MCU is better than DC. The shows I like are SNL, Last of Us, Ted Lasso, Stranger Things. Music is 90s, 2000, hip-hop, and rock. I put Hamilton, and I put allergic to alcohol, which is also true. Um, and then I had said I have a kid and not looking for a stepdad. It just makes my schedule really hectic, so I'm too busy too busy for a long-term relationship. I am, I'm embarrassed of it just because it, it's a stamp in time, I think. Wait, work mode. Does it, it's like, so you can hide the screen real quick? If you're like oh, on Tinder, like that's a, funny. Uh, working, <laughs> it's a PowerPoint. I'm just working. <laughs> Nothing to see over here. <laughs> that's yeah, hilarious. It is funny. A I seat, photo it. verified. Not true. 
Do you have Stop a PowerPoint? Sharing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. I was thinking about it just to be I like, made okay, a PowerPoint you know. of <laughs> my selections <laughs> I do that, that I wanted to review time. for today. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the bios. <clears throat> oh. About me. Sit on my face and let my tongue do its magic. <laughs> I, I love to have fun, but I don't pay for it. Hit me up if you want to have some fun. Wow, that's I don't really want to pay to for the it. Point. Yeah. Or, I, I wouldn't sell it. The the picture wasn't attractive. Let's put it that way. Well, then uh, guess what? You need to pay for it, sir. Like <laughs> guess what? There's Maybe a bartering hoping- system. No, if you're really attractive then you don't have to pay for it. That's how life works. I'm sorry. Yeah. The end. Or like pay for it even means like take you out for drinks or anything, right? Like he's saying, I don't want to pay for it at all. Like you just come over. I do this thing with my ugly ass and then you go. (laughs) Okay. So this guy, here we go. First, let me say this guy lives in New York Mm -hmm. and you'll notice a difference between the three cities that I picked for this or whatever areas, Nebraska, New York City, and Houston. So... This guy right here, his name is Jaron. I'll cut out everything else. I guess it doesn't matter because there's not a lot of information there. But his about me says, I've grown up, but not completely. Hopefully you are the same. I work hard and travel harder, and I'd love to be your greatest adventure. Never married, homeowner, no kids, no drama, except for being reality TV obsessed. Um, That looks like a hotel. Yeah. And he's a homeowner in New York. Mm, okay. Upstate. So maybe. True. Upstate. I liked the picture though. I, I can't tell whenever I like pictures like this, then I think about like who took this picture? Or is it like did they take or like set it up and on a tripod or whatever and then I would think that take he the set that up. I would think that he set that up with a timer. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, because you're like, okay, is he wearing pants? Which to me, I see That's why he's I probably was... wearing boxers. I don't know. It well, it's, it seems like it's left vague on purpose. But yeah. I also was like, travel harder? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that just stuck Jeez. with me. I was like, tra- travel, tra- travel harder. harder. How do you travel? Okay, so hard. He travels hard. I think that meant like work hard, party. Harder. Oh yeah, what is the but um I, work? Well, yeah, work hard, play, play harder. harder. Yeah, but like travel harder. The I kids say tra- I don't want to travel. Ha- I don't want to travel hard. I'm gonna travel. I'll travel easy. hard if somebody pays for it. I'm not traveling hard. Being a the traveling Same hard, I've, I imagine being like traveling hard would be like <laughs> traveling in like really crappy coach or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> where like, it's hard to I, want to travel. <laughs> I want to travel easy where I'm in first class and I'm spread out. And like <laughs> yeah. people are bringing me champagne and crap. Hey, if anybody wants to take me on a vacation, first class, um, I will I got- go and I'll do whatever you want. I got whoa. All right. Except for um, except for a couple of things. Um but it has to be like dope, like Fiji. And it has to be like obviously <laughs> expensive. And that's it has to be, be dope like Fiji. <laughs> I feel like that's a rap line. Yeah. And now I just gotta come up we'll with work on that later. Um so <laughs> I've noticed this is a trend in general. Showing a beer bottle? No, he's 23, so he's on the younger end. Uh, his about me says, where are the moms at? I feel like there's a lot of MILF, MILF hunting. guys out there. Yeah. I don't know if it was that way before or what it is. I've asked it's, about it before, and it, they, he said it was an experience thing, but I don't know. I've seen, Have you, like, bumper stickers even, like, beyond yeah. just this. I've seen, like, a, it's a thing. It's yeah. a it's a fetish thing, so I don't You think I don't really get it, but <laughs> you know the um I don't either. And I almost think you know how we were talking about how um 
some guys these days have like their moms are obsessed with them or they are right. obsessed with their moms and like makes them uncapable unqual- un- incapable of like like Having I guess because the moms ca- yeah like coddled them and yeah I feel like that's what that comes from like they're into milk ew and like, like if they, they wear yeah like they have mommy issues that's what I think ew. or. Actually, I've been told it's the drama free also. Like if you're a single mom, you're pretty much don't have as much going on. Like like you're no you're frills. Younger, like you're like, oh, okay, yeah. now get up and get out. Get out of my house. Yeah. And they're like, I don't want to snuggle. Get out of my house. Yeah. And they're like You're leaving okay. after this. <laughs> yeah. You're not staying overnight. Get out. Get the fuck yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. And Maybe. so there's like no expectations of relationships. And if there were, it would be shut down by me. Right. You know? Um so that's the feedback I, I've gotten when I asked why why MILFs? They said it's less drama and more experience. I'm like, well that's that's fair, I suppose. Yeah. And then I'm like, do not tell your mom or whatever or anybody that I you're you're talking to a 38 year old. I feel like if I had if my son, I found out that my son, even though he's an adult, um, was on Tinder talking to like a 38 year old mom, I'd be like, that's weird. Yeah, like don't Why? do that. Why are you doing that? On Instagram, somebody contacted me and he was 19, and I was yeah. like, bro. First of all, g- gross. Second of all, I would be murdered probably by your mother if we were even th- – because you sent me this message. So I'm going to say no thanks. Too young. Don't contact me again. So anyway, that one, the um, analysis was he uh, is where the mom's at. So That's all he had to say. That's all he had to say. <laughs> That's all he had to say. So I liked this one. Uh, I included the picture for that reason. He has a sense of humor. Um, he's a farmer, so I think this one was from Nebraska. Okay. Uh, Oxford, Oxford Dictionary in the Streets. Urban Dictionary in the Streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm curious as to what that means and then he goes did i mention that i'm six four so he's leaning into the height Mm -hmm. smart um he's not he kept his bio nice and short um he gave the perfect amount of information it's showing his personality you know it's a good profile by the height part i feel like it should he should add on there that he's looking for someone that's five one because all (laughs) super tall guys want to date a woman that's super short it's a it's a weird Why thing. Why is that? Do you think? Yeah, is that another? I, it's it's a weird thing, and real and short guys like really tall really tall women because I've always had really short guys hitting on me, and I'm like, dude, why? Don't stop. Why, please? <laughs> My I, uh, yeah. But like, it's not because it's it's not like a. It's almost like to the point of like fetishism because they'll be like. They'll be like five one, whereas I'm six oh. feet. So I'm like, dude, you're not just like short. Like you need to find like a short woman. Like you're like little. Like stop it. Yeah. Like you make sure. me feel like overwhelmingly a uh, huge. <laughs> 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 like I could carry you and rock you like a bed bed. Like that's too much. Like if there's a fire going on, it would be me having to carry you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Right. If, if we were out and you got drunk at a party, I would carry you to the car. <laughs> yeah. If we were in a par- parking lot and you're about to fight, it would have to be me that fought. I would have to jump in front. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that one is good. What I'm going to do, I'll put it in Excel so that it calculates. Is this so me? This name is like, I feel like I made it up for my fake profile. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. yeah it sounds like a romance novel name i picked this one because i i'm feeling the vibes from his bio so i was like yeah that's right man so he goes this guy is 25 
There's no such thing as a real relationship anymore. So if you feel like swiping right, let's vibe for a few weeks and never talk again. That's how it always goes. Looking for someone to take me to my first rave, to be honest. To his first he's rave? He's a little bitter. Rave. Okay. Um, yeah. I feel like raves are actually... Like, you, you talked to me about raves if you were raving back in 1999, 2000. Yeah. That's when I was raving. Yeah. This bullshit is called a concert or a festival. (laughs) Right. They're like outdoors. Like, no, we were in warehouses, bro. Yeah. There's like general admission. Yeah. We were like throwing up all over each other in like warehouses. That's a totally different experience. And the cops come and break it up. It's not there with any kind of security. A girl dies that everyone kind of knows. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so this is one where I'm like, okay, here we go with a... I have no idea which person it is. We're at a, an event. We're at an yeah, there's event, like a godfather. The entire <laughs> fucking table of 50. Why? Like, why? <laughs> why so many? There's so yeah, many why is, why is that, that the picture? The first one. Okay. A, wait, 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 wait. Her. Is he the yeah. white guy? <laughs> <laughs> No. There's one white guy that's so white. I should have put the other one. Oh my gosh, he is. There's one. He has has to be the white guy. That's amazing. If it's the white guy, he would be my hero. It isn't, but it's like where's Waldo? Like Yeah. (laughs) Because of the number of people, okay? That's why it's where's Waldo. Because we don't know who it is, so don't cancel us. Um, oh, no. Th- that's funny. I don't care who you are, what race you are. There's, like, a bunch of people and then one really, really white, white guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just very different from her. He just sticks out like a sore thumb, like, oh, hi. They could all be related. You are you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... You never know these days. Okay, so this is a guy where I'm like, um, good profile. Yeah. Um, I actually would. I hate. I don't say date, but like this would be a a swipe for me, dog. Um, it's a cool pose. It's a cool background. Cool. Yeah. Oh, damn it! Did I ha- make any more? I think I have one more. Yeah. Um. Here's another one. Same. And then um, he he is, what did he say? He went to Yale. He's a male consultant and data scientist. And then he, he's located in those areas. Math enthusiast, basketball fan, learner. I love feeling some solace. Seeking someone who shares similar interests. Strengths. Solving equations, open-mindedness, anime, horror movies, food, intellectual conversations, self-care, physical influence intimacy that's a very proper way to say it. like that's so sweet i know exactly well, what you're talking about it's a nice yeah, it's a yeah it's not vulgar yeah i that he's that's a very impressive one actually like yeah you can't fake like, that what no. he just wrote there like that's he's real smart he's a really smart dude and look he's into his, uh, really Diverse his weaknesses things. are his laid back, introvert, and I don't give a. F- um, those are strengths, sir. Those what are, are talking m- about? and <laughs> super me, except for the extrovert part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> P.S. Not looking to outsmoke or outdrink anyone. Can't hold a conversation. Flaky behavior or narrow mindedness will earn you an unmatch. That's definitely fair. I think where I would not work out is the flaky behavior. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very inconsistent with the uh, the messages I check and what time those messages came in and who sent it to me and who do I will oh what so sometimes it's like I can't and um, like texts so that's or like on the app uh in like life once, in general but definitely if they, not if they got past the app and if they got to like texting as a real person are you consistent with that real people texting you like if you actually liked him and he was texting you are you someone that just I would, ignores the text no i don't like ignore 
<laughs> but if it was this guy, I would definitely be excited to like talk to him because he looks cool anyway. Like, you know, he's got a cool fashion and and he lives in New York, so it's not like but but you know, I also think about the things where it's like you meet people and then you visit each other in person. Like let up with this fucking doesn't matter for this. Um, but I liked his profile, so I just wanted to point that out because um He looks a lot good cooler. job. If I read this whole thing, I'd be like, it sounds too good to be true. So they're probably yeah. like some geek. But then you look mm-hmm. at this and you're like, and he looks cool too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. And he's six foot feet. He went to Yale, dude. So he's my height. <laughs> <laughs> he's a math consultant and data scientist. So he's like my my strengths. I'm like in love with this dude. And he's going to fucking find this clip probably and be like, oh, She's a but flake. Anyway. She admitted it. <laughs> Relationship type. But then, okay, so in general, not just not just this guy. Anybody I would meet, I meet over, any guy I meet over 25, that they can only be in their 20s and early 30s. They're probably looking for, you know, somebody to settle down with. And that's why sometimes I feel like bad meeting up with a 25 year old like for multiple months because I feel like I'm taking away the opportunity to meet the person that they can marry you know well, you never because know, though but I but I can't have any more kids and you know I think about the mom of the whoever the person is so I'm like if he were to bring me home not him if somebody were to bring me home and they're like, oh, she's like 10 years older than me and has a kid. And if the he wants a big family or whatever, like, I definitely can't do that. So it's like, I don't want to like, unless he's just looking for like, like long, not long term, but just monogamous, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I can do that with a 20, in this case, 25 and older. Um but I would just have to make it really clear up front, you know what I mean? That it's like. But I also think that like if if somebody's like, I want to have a traditional family and a whole bunch of kids, I think they would tell you. Yeah, they would. So then at that point is when I would decide like, do you want to like have fun for a couple months? Right. But like definitely, you know this not is where invested. I am yeah do not get invested and in, you know that would be my concern that's my concern when it's really anybody under 40 maybe no under 35 I that I'm like it's a, it's a little far though to go like to be thinking about like the mom of the person it is I think it's weird but well, because <laughs> You're making, like, a lot of assumptions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you're like, you know, but what I'm... if this guy, like, if I was the guy's <laughs> mom, like, okay, you're not. <laughs> like, everybody has completely different circumstances they're coming from. Yeah, that's true. And their true. childhood's completely different. Like, you're going based on, like, your family and your family values and how things that's go a good or point. whatever. So, I mean, wow. they might just be like, you know, I don't really want to have kids or, like, you know, people people say stupid things to me because I can't have any kids. And they're like, your husband's okay with not being able to have any children of his own. And I'm like, he considers he considers my son like his own. Yeah. Like he raised him too. But yeah, so like you never, because that's something that used to bother me. Like I would think like, what if I keep someone from having their own child? And yeah. Like, you know, you shouldn't just assume things like. You know, everyone's really different. Yeah. <laughs> not everyone That's wants true. to have their own biological child. It's not like That's super true, important too. to them. Yeah. So, I mean, in, in that sense, it would be the, the benefit, move closer, the benefit or not the benefit, but only be the benefit of having, of dating somebody who with a kid, but it's not yours, is that you can break off really easy because you don't have a connection with a child. Versus if they decided they wanted children in their lives, they would have a family. It kind of like locks you down wherever yeah. you are. Way less freedom. So this dude looks like 
he's not going to be like a, hey, let's set up a go move to the suburbs and for what all he does. He's definitely like, this is crazy. Like if they heard us talking about this guy <laughs> like this. <laughs> this guy would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> We're using this as an example of a good profile. <laughs> oh my God. This will be like, the guy would be like, uh, but, um, just in general, Jay, like call us. <laughs> <laughs> but if like if some like you know when I move to New York in ten years, whenever she's done, that's when I feel like it's more. Well, then he'll be thirty five. <laughs> oh, then it would make way more sense. He will definitely know by then. <laughs> and then it he already happen. lives there. Yeah, so. but but he's too too good of a catch. It's true. I Let's can't imagine him being. Well, he could still be available. Well, he pays but... $40 a month. <laughs> That's my, like, one of my barometers. If they pay? Okay. Yeah. Because that means they, like, are wasting their money if they have a bad bio. Oh, right. No, he has a really good bio, though. Not like, um, what did that guy, what did his say? The 20 something year old um, moms, where the moms at? Oh, where the moms at? Where the moms at? Did he pay for that? Yeah. He paid to, to say where the moms at. <laughs> yep. Is it like, do they get a cheaper subscription? I'm like, does everybody no. have money to pay $40 a month for this? No, that's what I'm, that's why, that's what my guy, Stan. <laughs> Stan. <laughs> that's what he's, he's being offered of $49 to see what women like him. Because I wasn't swiping. Oh like, I wasn't swiping. I was just, it was just sitting there. So people yeah. were swiping on me. So they were like dangling it like. 50 people swiped right on you. You could find oh. out who they are if you paid $49. And I was like, nope. <laughs> Still not. Yeah. It. But that's what that's what it is. So they're they're paying that. They're not getting it cheaper. Jesus. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. So when they write like nothing and they don't even put like a great picture in. They're, waste, they're like losing hundreds of dollars a year. That's a lot of money. I that's need to expensive. help. I need to help this, this situation. I should put that as my bio. Hi, if you're reading this, you're halfway there. All you need to do is meet with me and I can consult on how to write a better bio for better results. Go down a rabbit hole. Like I did it one time um, because I found out that somebody died in the house I was in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ew, I don't know how I feel about that, but. I want to know about it. I, who died here? What's the story? So I ended up doing research and I found out like the entire story down to like minute details of this person Eely. that lived there. Like it probably wasn't good for my psyche, but it was amazing <laughs> how much information I could get about this person's <laughs> life and death in the house I was living in. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> That was so oh easy. Good. And I was like, it only cost a dollar. Because <laughs> oh I, like, I like signed up for one of those things and it was like, just put a dollar down. And I was like, yeah. okay, I could do that. <laughs> and then I canceled it. So for a dollar, they fed me any information I wanted about any person I could have done that night. Oh my God. They're counting on you to forget but I had, to cancel. I had, you know, I didn't have any more questions about anyone. I just wanted to know about the dead guy. <laughs> Well, that's true. And I'm just doing know. this to to grow more followers because I know <laughs> it makes me well, sound real, like a really <laughs> fun person. <laughs> in the middle of the night, she looks up storylines about dead people that committed suicide in her old house. <laughs> Psychopath. She seems real normal, so let's follow her life. Where were we? This one Where was funny. Look? LOL <laughs> starts with LOL. <laughs> and then it says women coffee. LOL women coffee. Just be honest. The fuck y'all are boring. <laughs> Anyone with a sensible thought process? If you have cute toes, I love you already. And then you left this 
Instagram. I'll, I'm going to block it out for this, but. What? So, <laughs> what to all of that? All, what? I, yeah, exactly. Like, okay. What? So what does the coffee mean? Does it mean tea? Like the tea? Like he's spilling the tea? Because if it means coffee, I don't know what the fuck that means. Okay, let me see what the coffee versus the tea looks like. But still. Is the tea a different picture, like emoji? Does it... Yeah, let or, me look. Or is there a hot beverage and that's that? But then what does it have to do with women? Well, like if he's spilling the tea on women, just be honest, y'all are boring. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. <laughs> like he's just telling us, here's the tea on women. You're <laughs> fucking boring. <laughs> But if you have well, cute toes, I love you. You're boring, well, but I love your good. toes. Do you think when people put their Instagram on there, obviously they want to maybe not have them follow, maybe just continue the con- conversation on Instagram. Okay. I was going to say, maybe we're doing him a favor by publishing his Instagram, but no. no um, he just wants you to like, he's got a, a dick pic that he's got to send you through uh, there. Just probably. Locked and loaded. <laughs> um, it is. Is he paying money? I damn. Because I bet you he's not. I bet you the people that put yeah. their Instagram, they're not paying the money, so they're like, mm, just go here, and we can just skip right, me paying see. the money. Um, we're looking for coffee versus tea. <laughs> If it is coffee, then I have no idea because it's definitely coffee because there's a teapot and there's a, a sake. Um, yeah, but how smart is he though? Does would he look at that and see tea as a teapot? A <laughs> smart is he? Though? We don't know. Um, should we look? Okay, so as part of this experiment. Should we look him up? Or is that too much? I think that might be too much. Because it's on Tinder. Yeah. What's support the gain, gains hand monkey? <laughs> hand monkey. See, like, I think we should look him up because I'm so confused by all of this. I feel like it's like I'm Nicolas Cage and I got to solve a puzzle. Like, I'm that confused. <laughs> like, I need to... Okay. I'm Tom Hanks and I'm, there's like scrolls. I'm, <laughs> I'm, it's out there. What does all this mean? Just be oh honest. My. The f- <laughs> 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 Like, it makes me laugh, but I don't know what the fuck it means. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one is interesting. Okay. Gynecologist, socialite, actor, singer, firefighter, and entrepreneur, and a state senator. These are all things I am not. <laughs> I am just a proactive, coherent, and optimistic man with clear goals and a healthy lifestyle. Takes a little bit of a turn here. I am a rough central dom who is kink who is kink friendly and respectful. Big on consent and communication. Okay. So breaking it down. First thoughts. <laughs> He's 5'10 and (laughs) self-employed. Self-employed as what? A dom? Probably like me, how I'm self-employed right now. No income. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Poor. (laughs) And I'm employing myself. (laughs) Um, Okay. So the second half of that was very straightforward and honest. The first half was all over the fucking place, but kind of funny. I think that was right. The attempt. But but went like way out there to be funny. (laughs) But then followed up with straightforward facts that are like, was that to like soften the blow of the second half? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe he's following some kind of formula. It's like open with the joke. 
put the most important stuff on the inside and put the stuff you don't think they will read unless they get past the other stuff at the bottom. Well, like if you made it through this crazy twist and turny joke, then <laughs> you won't mind hearing That's true. that I have fetishes and here they all are. What the if they pass the first po- paragraph? You're on a you're in a good spot. So they'll probably <laughs> read on. Um, they'll we'll either say it. that joke is funny, not funny. If it's not funny, which probably has a high probability of not being funny, then you're disqualified from the other rest of the bio being read. So, but I feel, and like... then what's this crab? I don't even or, know. Or oh, that's a scorpion. Like... Oh, even less. Is that something? Anyway, thirty. Brooklyn, born and raised, living on Long Island, looking for something. Okay, all caps. Looking for something casual. <laughs> He's not fucking uh, around. <laughs> I'm not a jerk. I don't mind hanging out at all. Just be aware of my intentions. <laughs> Show me your toes. Come here, let me squeeze your fupa. Mill puncher. Chevy chaser. I like big butts and cellulite. Aliens and conspiracy theories. I'm convinced you are all bots. Certified goof. I'm not buying your pics or videos. Porn is free. <laughs> One more time. We'll do this little bit slower. He's 30 in Brooklyn, born and raised. Living on Long Island. So, basics. Looking for something casual. <laughs> Yell it for the people in the back. <laughs> And then, I'm not a jerk. I don't mind hanging out at all. Just be aware of my intentions. Fair. He said, I'm not a jerk. I think that's nice. Okay, so this is where the normal shit ends. (laughs) Show me your toes. Come here, let me squeeze your fupa. Milf hunter. Chubby chaser. I like big butts and cellulite. Aliens and conspiracy theories. I'm convinced you are all bots. Certified goof. goof. I'm not buying your pics or videos. Porn is free. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so this is a different profile. All in caps. The whole thing in caps. He's screaming this shit from the rooftops. Yeah. Yeah. Need to get out of this empty house. Swipe right for drinks and karaoke. Swipe swipe right to have dinner and drinks. My treat with respectful gentlemen. I'm a little old fashioned. Don't want hookups. I'll treat you like a princess and always be sure you get home safely. Swipe left if you're married or a man. Swipe <laughs> left if you want a sugar daddy. Swipe left if looking for threesome. Also swipe left if incapable of monogamy. Also, swipe left if you can't spell it. Asian ladies, I don't want to pen pal. How does that? Okay, so. Do you feel attacked? <laughs> <laughs> what the f*** does that mean? I mean, I'm like. Oh, I like to I ride. To what does that mean? <laughs> like. <laughs> Are there like Asian you, girls from do you Asia? Like to- <laughs> from Asia, yeah, like, they're all they're from Asia. Asia. I get it. <laughs> Why the did Asian, they like Asian? If they live in Asia, it would be a pen pal because no one would be able to see each other in real life. They'd have to write letters to each other. Okay, but in know. fairness, wouldn't yeah. that go for like a lot of other countries? <laughs> like all so, of okay. them. I want to see these Asian ladies. What? Who? Where are these Asian ladies? I want to know about them. Me too. I just want to be pen pals. <laughs> Is there money in this? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're like, I'll be, I'll be a pen a- pal if you send me Bitcoin. $50. Bitcoin, you said? Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. That's probably They can not send even- me $50. I'll be your pen pal for <laughs> one week is fifty dollars well maybe when they say like pen pal they mean like they'll send them letters with like sexy pictures or something weird like pen pals how they put it maybe that's a weird yeah that's a weird way to say it it, um, okay. it is but so is the asian ladies i don't know <laughs> yeah it's a asian pen pal you mean texting or yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Do we even use pens anymore? What's going on? Uh, all right. Here we go. Here's a good one. Also in all caps. Different people, both in all caps. Here's their profile. In D.C. only for a few nights. I'll buy you f- food and eat your ass. <laughs> Dom. <laughs> BDSM. 6'3", Scorpio, skateboarder, photographer, guitar player, cam- gamer, pretty chill and laid back, New York City born and raised. Like, why do you the need order. to know the rest of that? Why do you even need to know the rest of that? If if you read the top one and you're like, done, then you don't <laughs> even care about the gamer. I don't care. I don't yeah. care. You're going to come out and <laughs> buy me food and eat my ass, right? I don't care. Yeah. You're a photographer. Cool. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you're, you're chill and laid back. Get the fuck out. You're done. Get out. Yeah. So this is interesting that I've come across a lot more of lately. These um, are straight up like. Wow. The uh, It's like a, a drug dealer, basically. Dr- drugs. And, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Literally everything. Which is crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Literally everything deals on the first time or so for delivery. Any and then this is another thing. Any interest in being a model? Like he's Barbazon too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a throwback was from a, a throwback. million years ago. <laughs> it was hilarious though. Does skincare mean anything to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> it is. Do you want better skin? Swipe right. And just to let you know, I have an addiction. It's traveling. Oh, and please let me know what you think of my anthem. Friends always welcome. This is so weird. This is a true entrepreneur. (laughs) I've never seen somebody do this much. He's building an empire. Look, 420. Amateur model, model photography. Um, skin care. Skin care. The skin care is really what throws me. Like, okay, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna give me drugs. You're gonna sell me drugs. You'll take pictures of me, right? So you're a perv. That's fine. Skin care. What the skin? Yeah, and then it jumps. To you, skincare. You'll give me a facial and worry about my wrinkles, Lindley. You know, <laughs> I don't get that part. Oh God. <sighs> Okay, so here's this exhausted. one. Exhausted. <laughs> I'm getting exhausted by these. Okay. Pronouns are tally and band because all I do is tally up them bands. 511. Oh. What's your PPP uh, plan? PP plan to end the KK clan. I know I look like a terrorist, but look at the bright side. I'd blow up your heart. Oh. Just a man full of conspiracies, questions everything, even the womb you came out of. Uncircumcised and unvaxxed. Is the earth round, flat, or hollow? Who knows? Let's grab some gelato. (laughs) Carrot cake is my weakness. (laughs) Trying to get through this with <laughs> carrot cake is my weakness. F big pharma, F politics from both sides. Mister scare them hose away with a zero for the O. BDSM over vanilla. Yeah, so <sighs> it was rough. I, I don't even. <laughs> I don't think there needs to be comments. I think it speaks for itself and I want it to <laughs> shut up. I want it to never talk again. Five foot 11. What's up with your... Okay, so it says what's up... What's your plan to end the clan? And there's three P's because clan... He stutters. KK clan. <laughs> K-K clan. What's, what's your, your p- 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 plan, plan to end the k- k- clan? Clan. <laughs> Um, the womb thing. I was like, yeah. "Why? Why are we going there?" Just a man full of conspiracies. Conspiracies. Question everything. Even the womb you came out of. So your mother? Question your mother. Okay, but even her womb. So does he hate women? 
I don't know, man. But he's un-everything. Uncircumcised. Like, that part's fine, but, like, you know, Unbaxed, you're making a point yeah. of it. And, man, yeah, he's a flat earther. The t- <laughs> it's a lot of part, though. Is I- the earth round, flat, or hollow? Here's his other... <laughs> <laughs> his second attempt of, of you know throwing in some i'm okay i'm a normal is the earth round flat or hollow who knows let's grab some gelato you know what i like gelato but i know i know who knows <laughs> i know that was the selection all right lady all right i'm gonna go eat dinner soon nice this is a nice therapy session <laughs> So yeah, go get something. Get out of here. I'm gonna go think about what my p p p plan is to end the. (laughs) (laughs) You go do that. I've never never thought about it before, but now it's really opened my eyes. On me to finish it. I didn't know I I had to figure it out. I wanted wanted to, but I didn't know I had the power. I know. Do I personally have the power? But that's what he's asking. Also, uh, so I'm going to look into those pen pals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll do this. This is fun. I'll just I'll just keep track of like really good profile profiles. <laughs> yeah. So some of those ones like And I'll stay away from the pictures that make it so much easier for editing. Just find then... find ones like that that I'll buy you food and eat your <laughs> If you're gonna write me poetry like that, then keep it yeah, going. Yeah, that's a God. I wonder if that ever wins or works. I'm sure it does. You think somebody's out there and they're like done? Yeah. Or the ones I'll buy you food. And... They're what like, I'll... I'll buy you yeah. food and and eat your and that because. Well, you know, she's sitting there and she's high and she's like, I really could eat dot, dot, dot in her head. <laughs> I'll call well, them. you know, to each, uh, whatever, man. I don't even. Me either. It hurts my Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>